Hello everyone, welcome to Manopatra's Law and Legal News Podcast. Here we go with the news highlights of 27th September. Starting with the Honorable Supreme Court, the Honorable Court has held that an employee can be terminated from service if it is found that he has suppressed or given false information in regard to matters having a bearing on his fitness or suitability to the post. The Honorable Supreme Court, while refusing to entertain petition seeking direction that a minister should be temporarily debarred from holding office if they spend more than two days in judicial custody, has remarked that such a matter is not court to a judge and it is legislature who has to consider it. The Honorable Supreme Court, while granting liberty to Anil Deshmukh to approach the Bombay High Court bench assigned to hearing his bail application, has remarked that keeping application for bail pending for eight months is not consistent with basic percepts of right to life and liberty under Article 21 of the Indian Constitution. The Honorable Supreme Court has issued a direction to the Agra Development Authority to immediately halt all commercial activities which come within the radius of 500 meters from the peripheral wall of the Taj Mahal. Moving on to the High Courts of India, the Delhi High Court, while permitting Sharjil Imam to withdraw his application for regular bail, has asked a trial court to consider his application seeking relief under Section 436A of CRPC, taking into consideration Supreme Court's order of keeping the offence of sedition in abeyance. The Delhi High Court has passed an ad interim injunction order in favour of Delhi's Lieutenant Governor. Vinay Kumar Saxena and against Am Admi Party and its five leaders in connection with a matter pertaining to their corruption allegations against him. The Bombay High Court has held that while it is the state's duty to protect wild animals and not allow them to wander outside restricted zone, it is also obligatory upon the state to protect citizens from any injuries by wild animals. And if any injury is caused, it is the state's failure to protect the right to life. The Bombay High Court, while hearing plea filed by Jane Religious Body seeking ban on advertising of non-vegetarian food, has held that there is no law that provides for such relief and has raised questions as to why petitioners are encroaching on someone else's rights by making such demand. The Kerala High Court has filed that drastic changes in matrimonial life of a pregnant woman fulfills the condition of change of her marital status in Rule 3B of Medical Termination of Pregnancy, that is the MTP rules, thus making her eligible to undergo medical termination of pregnancy up to 24 weeks. The Kerala High Court, while permitting a woman claiming to be separated from her allegedly abusive husband to terminate her 21-week-old pregnancy, has held that husband's consent is not necessary under the Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act for termination of pregnancy. That is all for today. Thank you and have a great day ahead.